China is often presented to us in the U.S. as this enigma. There were so many stereotypes that I've heard or grew around. And you hear these stories, but to really understand what that means and what's going on, sometimes you just have to take the leap and go for it and put yourself in that environment. Being able to actually be there and experiencing for yourself and breaking down these barriers you hear about China. China can tell you who they really are. Where you can really learn from the people themselves and see it with your own eyes and bring those experiences back with you that can help inform the rest of your life. Obviously, there are a lot of students studying in China. By far, the majority of those students are principally in two cities, which is Beijing and Shanghai. Those are the largest cities, they're the most cosmopolitan cities. Our program is not there. Our program is in Western China, which is a very distinctive place. Distinctive because it's far from the center. It's far from those cosmopolitan centers. One of the things that you find in a place like Chengdu, where our students study, is the kind of preservation of uh, an older kind of Chinese mentality. It's a little bit slower, and it's a little bit more authentic. The study tour at the beginning of the trip expose you to what China is before you actually have to sit down and start studying is part of what makes the Gateway Program one of the best programs I think is out there to experience China. It helps get all your excitement out and satisfies your need to travel so that when you get to Chengdu, you're ready to settle down and make that city your new home. For those who know me, I have low self-esteem. Going to China, you just felt you were like a mini celebrity. So it would be kind of like an image boost and just like, I'm going to be who I want to be because if people from China can accept me the way I am, then why shouldn't Americans? <laughs> It seems to me in the context of our global situation, there is no more important culture to study than China right now um, in the coming years because uh, what happens in China actually affects all of us on the planet. And so fully appreciating um, what's going on with China is really fully appreciating what's going on here.